Hey, it's me. I'm back again with another game by developer Suits and Nukes. Uh, this time it's called Aqua Creep. Uh, I, the last game I played was by this developer uh, called Bloodbath Bay. I found out that was not a new game after all. It was a re-upload re of an older game. Um, and this is the, the one that they have currently in development. Um, I know this is based on John Carpenter's The Thing from 1982. Um, and it seems like it's going to be more of a decision-making uh, storyline game. So, let's begin. A and D to swim. Oh. Can't go that way. Helen Hussey as Dean, Isabel, Steve, Rebecca, Sean, Thomas, Trevor. Quite a cast of characters. <clears throat> That's a long name. Uma. Music. It's pretty cool music. Uh, Bloodbath Bay also had some nice atmospheric, spacey underwater music. I wonder if it was by the same person. I don't know. Objective: change from wetsuit. Okay. Who are you? Storm's definitely rolling in. Looks like it's gonna be a rough one. You need a hand with anything out there? Nah, yeah, I can, can you... take care of this. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna change out of my wetsuit. Not like we can get anything done until the storm blows through anyway. Well, I better get my shit together here before it lets loose on us. My guess is it's gonna last all night. Maybe longer. True that. Uh... So this game is currently entered in the Game Development World Championship. Um, which I don't really know anything about. Uh, I know you can go and vote on it if, uh, if this playthrough makes you think that game should win. I don't know what I just did. What is this stuff? Uh, space to exit. I don't want to exit. Cool. Go to sleep. Some thrilling missions so far. Why is that one red too? Uh, where's my bed? Dive storage. I don't want to sleep in the bathroom. Not today. Laboratory? Crew quarters. Hello. What's up, jerk? There jerk. you are. I was worried I wasn't going to meet my asshole quota for today. Have hey. Have playing Aquaman this morning? I guess I'll be a creepy oh, weirdo. Easy with that Hollow Man reference. It's an antique. Really showing your age with that one, buddy. Although it doesn't shock me to find out you know all about a movie starring an invisible rapist. Hey, by the way, you heard the crew is meeting up in the rec room for the storm, right? I'll be the one getting drunk off my ass, so <clears throat> come have a beer with me later, okay? Okay. Sounds like fun. Interact with what? That screwdriver. I don't have one of those. Sleep. It's uh, it's interesting to see an indie game with this much voice acting. You don't see that a whole lot. Investigate screen. I got some fancy artwork on the walls. Nice diver chick. Oh. 
Turn around, bright eyes. It just seemed like the right thing to do. I'm screaming. Are you screaming? Hey, buddy, what's up? Uh, who cares about screaming? There's beer. Hey, Woo! That. How about you kick back and relax, huh? I remember we're getting paid for this. <laughs> That's right, Sean. Can I have that beer? Okay. But Hello, Wilma. How are you holding up? No, what, I thought that was Predator. I'm doing surprisingly well. Uh, where do you find the drinks? I, I'm just gonna hey, try and drink like it. In the fridge. Help yourself. But I gotta say, this has turned out pretty nice. Not often we're working and having downtime are one and the same. I'm having a pretty good time. Good. Ah, gonna get me a screwdriver. Tommy, can I bend your ear for a moment? You wanna talk? Sure. How you doing, man? Um, Full disclosure, yep. I found mine unopened on the little table by the couch. I mean, I guess they're more in the cooler or something, but I'm nursing this one until I find out for sure. Anywho, I'm gonna drink a work, am I right? random warm beer. <laughs> Steve. Hey, Steve. Oh, hey, Dean. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to sleep right through the party. <laughs> Say, you don't look very good. Are you sick or something? Hey, can you do an English accent? Yeah, man, totally I can. Uh, As your appointed physician, find me a drink. I can find no damage to your pouring arm and I'll be fully capable of helping yourself to the refrigerator. Take two and thank me in the morning. <laughs> Look, why don't you try to enjoy the party? It's not every day the Institute signs our checks to kick back and relax. That's what I'm talking about, Steve. Hey, Rebecca, I have to ask you something. Oh, hey, what's up? Hmm, I can't ask for a drink, but I can ask Ooh, about drinking. Party foul! Drinks aren't for counting, they're for drinking. Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun. I'm trying, Rebecca. You don't have to be such a jerk about it. Hey, let me ask you something. You didn't happen to hear someone scream. <laughs> You're gonna make me ask now. Scream? Where did you hear a scream? Well, I'm not entirely sure if it was a scream. I was asleep when I thought I heard it, but it kind of sounded like it came from towards the equipment storage. Okay, listen close, man. I need to talk to you, but not here. You speak up, here Trevor? Security room. Don't tell anyone and come alone. You got me? Trevor, you're kind of freaking me out a little. What's wrong? What are you? Shh. Not here. You walk out first and head over to the security room. I'll meet you there. Have you ever met somebody who talks like like there's loud music going on and they're like, mm, and you're like, I can't hear you. These cutscenes at a different frame rate. Uma's going wild. Pretty good dances going on in here. I'm taking a long swig of that beer.
So now what? Am I dead? Is this hell? I don't have a screwdriver. I can't interact with that. Security room. I am confused. I just want to go to the helicopter pad. Kind of lost track of the story there. Uh, am I in the same timeline still? Or, uh, I guess I'm... Hey, buddy, what's up? So I'm starting over from the screen, but I'm starting in a different place. So I was in the security room instead of in my bed. That's confusing to me. All right. Did I hear any screaming? Of course I did. It's a party man. Everyone's screaming. Look, I'm screaming. <laughs> hey, never mind all that. How about you kick back and relax, huh? I remember, we're getting paid for this. <laughs> Why are all of these people doing accents that they don't know how to do? Like, was that Russian? Seriously, the institute is paying us to live out here while we perform our research. But because of the storm, we can't. So we get to party instead. Ergo, we are getting paid to party. How can you go wrong with that? I booze, I lose, Sean. Aren't you paying oh, attention? You holding up. What, because of the storm? I'm doing surprisingly well. Uh... Screaming? What, like someone was hurt or something? Yeah. No, I can't say that I have. Might have been just the sound of the storm. It's awfully loud out there. <laughs> but I gotta say, this has turned out pretty nice. Not often we're working and having downtime are one and the same. I'm having a pretty good time. That's good, Uma. Hey Tommy, can I bend you? Keep having a good time. You wanna talk? Sure. How you doing, man? Screaming? I mean, sorta. It's kind of a party if you missed it. Know what I mean? Music blaring, people shaking it, getting drunk. I fucking love parties, man. <laughs> Anywho, sure beats work. Am I right? You're not wrong, Thomas. Hey, Rebecca, I have to ask you something. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, okay. A scream? Not really. I mean, the music is pretty loud. I can barely hear you right now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun! Okay, Rebecca, I will. It's poppin' Steve. Steve, you got a minute? Oh, hey Dean. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to sleep right through the party. Say, you don't look very good. Are you sick or something? No, I hadn't heard anything like that. You said you were sleeping when you heard it. Could it be possible you had dreamed it? Sure. Maybe someone else heard what you were talking about. But I didn't. Sorry. Look, why don't you try to enjoy the party? It's not every day the Institute signs our checks to kick back and Where's relax. Thomas? Or Trevor? Oh, he's actually not here. No. I'll just shove it through my chin and put it back. Where's... Where's that low talker at? Where did he go? He was... Uh, so I said it was by the equipment storage. I think he said to meet him there. That was in another life. Dive storage.
Hey, what's this? Bloody wetsuit. Who did I see wearing a wetsuit with this pattern earlier? This is gonna look weird, isn't it? <clears throat> That's fine. Who did I see wearing a wetsuit earlier? That guy. I don't remember his name. There's, there's a lot of people with names. Uh, I kind of wish the cursor was hidden uh, when I wasn't choosing something. I'll just put it over to the side. Hey, dude. Where'd you go? I like the, uh, the wet footprint effect. It's pretty cool looking. The style of this is pretty interesting. I don't know. It's, uh, almost like a, a telltale game about Funko Pops. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, this is also the maiden voyage of new graphics card. Not a new graphics card, but it's one I've had for a few years. Um, but I had to get an actually a new uh, power supply for my computer so I could use it. Um, Isabel, can I bother you for a second? What do you need? So we're gonna see how it does. I, so far it's doing a, a little bit better. I tried it out with an Unreal game last night, uh, which have been a bit of a problem for my old graphics card. I'm Let's ask about sure. the screen. I've been pretty wrapped up in my work here. I thought I might have heard something like a scream, but I figured it was just the party or maybe just the storm. Now, you'll have to excuse me, Dean. The project requires my undivided attention. It was a loud scream, Isabel. It woke me up from my sleep with a party going on next door. Uh, this game is Unity, by the way, not Unreal. Uh, for some re for some reason, uh, Unreal games tend to seem more intensive. Uh, sometimes. Uh, is that guy back now? I doubt it. Where did he say to meet him? I don't know why he's not there this time. Oh, maybe he said security room. He might have. He did. Hey, man. Okay, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? Okay, listen. This is gonna seem weird. Crazy, even. But after what I saw, I really don't know how else to describe it. Jesus, Trevor, man, you look like you saw a ghost. What happened? I think I know, but I don't want to say it. Not until you've seen this first. Here, look. You see that monitor in there? Keep watching. Where is this? I nice saw storage? you get killed by an alien. Who is that? And then you came back. Good lord. What the hell did we just see happen? Somebody just got attacked by something. Who and by what? Isn't exactly clear, as you can see from the video feed. But whoever it was, got back up and shook it off like it was nothing. Son of a bitch. I guess this explains that wetsuit I found earlier, too. Wetsuit? What wetsuit? In the end of the video, when the victim stands up and changes clothes in the locker, I found a bloody and shredded wetsuit lying on the floor in the dive storage. It looked like the one Thomas was wearing earlier. For real? Okay, man. Shit. But look, from now on, we tell each other everything. Agreed. Sure. 
so that's one mystery solved, but we still don't know exactly what we're up against. What are we supposed to do now? That's gonna have to be good enough, I guess. Here, take this. Wait, you're giving me your gun? Why? Don't worry. I keep a spare and some ammo in the security locker. I need you to have this, because you're the only one I can be sure is human right now. I could tell when you asked you know? about the screams you heard in the rec room earlier. What do you mean, is human? I mean, between what you witnessed and what we just saw on the security monitors, somebody out there isn't who they say they are. You're telling me that someone in this facility isn't really a person? I don't think whoever was attacked is even alive anymore, Dean. Whatever that fucking thing was is now running around, pretending to be human, and nobody but you and me have any idea. Holy shit. What if there's more of these things? If that's what we're dealing with, then how are we supposed to know which one of us is really human? I don't have an answer for that yet. But we do know one person ain't on the level, and I think the first thing we need to do is neutralize the threat we're aware of. You know how to use that thing, right? Yeah, point the business end at whatever I want to die, squeeze the trigger. Just hope I don't shit myself in the process. You do whatever you need to do, bro, but get it done. Shit yourself, we can shoot to somebody. Picking us off one by one. I'm gonna head back to the. I just noticed how weird the uh, the lip syncing is. When you're ready to make a move on this thing. Okay, ammo is infinite. Sweet. Kill the shapeshifter. Hey. Uh, how do I get rid of this? Ah! Uh, <laughs> I guess I auto-target whoever is there. How do I make this go away? It's kinda in my way. Uh... Hmm. Uh, hey Thomas. Get over here. I'm just gonna bust into this party. Packing heat. I'm looking for wetsuits. Uh... All right, have fun, guys. <laughs> Don't mind me. Get out of here, Thomas. <clears throat> hey, Sean, come here a sec. Hey, buddy, what's up? Never mind the fact that I have a gun. Uh... Come to think of it, yeah, I have. I think it's strange you aren't taking advantage of a drunk Rebecca. You know she likes you, right? Hey, never mind all that. How about you kick back and relax, huh? I remember, we're getting paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rebecca, I have to ask you something. Oh, hey, what's up? It should be fine. I mean, we've done all we can. Just a tropical storm, anyway. I thought you were a Florida boy. Aren't you people supposed to be used to hurricanes and all that? Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun! You know I can't do that. I booze, I lose. Steve, you got a minute? Oh, hey Dean. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to sleep right through the party. Say, you don't look very good. Are you sick or something? Not anymore. Did I do it? Ready for this? <laughs> I pull this trigger, one of two things is gonna happen. Where I see it, we don't have much of a choice. Just be sure before you go popping off shots all over the place. Oh, I was pretty sure about that. Shit, the doctor? He would have been good to have around until we sorted this mess out. No telling what kind of injuries will occur before this is over. It's a tough call, man. I'm glad I'm not the one who's making it. Don't think I'd be able to make the gamble you're about to roll on. A little late for that, Trevor. What? Boo? Are you nervous about the storm? <laughs> Cut 
loose, man. It's a party. A key. key. It looks like the kind that opens the lockers and dive storage. Could be useful. <laughs> nice. Uh, they put that music back on. See you guys later. Oop. Wait, not quarters. Right? Was it quarters? No. Uh, I'm not super confident <laughs> in the choices I just made. We're gonna see how it works out. How about the other red-handled one? Kills in one hit. Didn't the regular gun kill in one hit? It seemed to. I haven't really learned anything. I just had to shoot Steve on account of his accent. And Rebecca... for, uh... raining on the parade. Hey, check out this spear gun. Please. I don't mean to be rude, but I am running out of options. I need to get back to my work. I don't know if I believe you, Isabel. You're acting kind of funny. Also, you don't look like you're working very hard. Hey, Tommy, can I bend your Hey, man. <laughs> You wanna talk? Sure. How you doing, man? I don't know, I just killed two people. Well, yeah, man. Of course. Aren't you? Anywho. I feel like my choices aren't affecting <laughs> anything. Uh... Hello, Emma. How do you How feel you about that? Up? What, because of the storm? No, I'm because I just shot somebody well. in front of you. Well, now you're just trying to make me nervous again. But I gotta say, this has turned out pretty nice. Not often we're working and having downtime are one and the same. I'm having a pretty good time. Um, this doesn't feel great. It might have been the wrong choice. Oh, what? I can't have a beer now? Now's when I need it the most. Is there anything else that I can do besides shoot more people? Didn't seem like it. like it. Wait a minute, I think I hear something outside. Could it be? So how should I have known that it was him? I think I talked to everybody and they were all just like generic ask about the storm dialogue. Generic ask about beer dialogue. I really didn't learn anything to to uh, educate that that guess. Also, everybody but like two people are dead.
yet on just how widespread infection has become, but we have been told here at Channel 12 that attacks have spread rapidly. Violence erupted across the downtown area tonight as people fleeing a coffee shop massacre were gunned down by military forces. Officials have claimed it was not known which of the individuals were actually human and which were creatures from another world. Reports of massive fires across the city tonight as chaos continues to sweep the area. The entities now being referred to as creeps have overrun nearly every part of town, leaving survivors to wonder if this could be the dawning of the end of the human race as we know it. Panic-fueled riots have overtaken several business districts in the area as the invasion continues. Suspicion is at an unprecedented level as townsfolk begin to fear their neighbors and loved ones of actually being one of the creatures. Police aren't sure just how it began, but have been quoted as saying it is unlike anything they have ever encountered before. Military forces were quickly overcome on the city's west side this evening as what has only been described as some kind of alien life form overtook the area, consuming those unlucky citizens in their path. Mass evacuation attempts are being made as people flee the horde of unidentified creatures, infiltrating city homes and businesses, many being halted by military officials. The Pentagon has issued a tri-state-wide quarantine in efforts to stop the spread of the epidemic while rescue crews set up relief tents in designated hotspots along the perimeter of the infection zones. Huh. <clears throat> Utter failure. So, I know the result is supposed to be different on each playthrough. Um, I don't know if I wasn't paying enough attention. So, I'm gonna have to try again. Uh, I don't know how to restart here. What's this mean? These are the only people still alive? Did I sh shoot everybody else? Maybe I did. Whoops! Um, so... I'm gonna start over. So I'm gonna skip the opening sequence. Change from my wetsuit. Storm's definitely rolling in. Looks like it's gonna be a oh. one. <laughs> you need a hand with anything out there? Nah, I can take care of this. What are you gonna do? Good call. Not like we can get anything done until the storm blows through anyway. Well, I better get my shit together here before it lets loose on us. My guess is it's gonna last all night. Maybe longer. I totally forgot uh, what this guy looked like. <laughs> so that's how I would have known uh, to shoot that guy. Uh, so let's try this again. Hey, Tommy. Hey, you ready for this? <laughs> I pull this trigger, one of two things is gonna happen. Well, what? <laughs> you don't have much of a choice. Just be sure before you go popping off shots all over the place. The boat captain? Man, I really like that guy too. Shit, guess if it's him or us, there ain't no other choice. It's a tough call, man. I'm glad I'm not the one who's making it. Don't think I'd be able to make the gamble you're about to roll on. Um... <laughs> what are you waiting for, man? Last on that imposter, let's be done with this already. Just make sure you don't hit no one you don't suspect on that. I already did, Trevor.
Hey, nice blue wetsuit. Storm's definitely rolling in. Trevor's wearing green. This guy's wearing orange. That's probably enough people to make an informed decision. You're wearing red. Steve is blue, uh, whatever her name is, is yellow. Burp. Okay. See it. Orange, huh? Bloody wetsuit. Who did I see wearing a wetsuit with this pattern earlier? I know this time. So the only time I've actually killed the thing is with the spear gun, which I had to shoot Rebecca to get. Where am I going? Do I? Where's my gun? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't have it yet. Sean. Ah! Jesus. It takes forever. Uh... Well, I'd say that went as well as could be expected. You think? Man, they got a way up through the ceiling panels. Who knows where it could be right now? Shit, bullets don't kill this thing. What the fuck kind of options does that leave us with? Okay, you got a point. I guess it's just a matter of finding it again, finishing the job. Tough SOB, I guess. Okay, look, forget all that for right now. We need to think of what our next move is. Maybe something in the lab could... Oh, fuck! Isabel's in the lab all by herself. She has no idea what just happened here. True. Hey, can I have that key now? I'm okay, thanks to you. How did you know that thing wasn't human? It looked like the real deal as far as I could tell. Well, it's good to know you didn't just start blowing people's heads off with no reasoning behind it. Of course not. Scared. What? <laughs> Who would do that? I feel like any one of us could be next. And if I can't tell the difference between one of our co-workers and some kind of monster pretending to be one of us... Why is that one eye lowercase? ...to get through this? Weird. Hello. Isabel, we need to talk. Uh, this had better be an emergency. Kinda is. This is. a very serious problem. I don't know if you're willing to believe this, but a member of the crew was killed by some kind of creature. The creature then went on to disguise itself as human. Son of a bitch! I knew it. All of the eyes uh, that aren't capital I are lowercase. Uh... I've 
known of the potential since the beginning. However, the actual occurrences are indeed news to me. Allow me to explain. You see, the project we've been focusing on recently, it started out with mollusks and sea snails, until we discovered what we thought initially was a completely new species. A small green slug with yellow spotted patterns along its sides. Nothing about it seemed particularly noteworthy until one day... You mean like the ones behind you? ...fascinating attributes. Shape-shifting. You gotta be shitting me right now. No, I'm quite serious. We placed the specimen in a terrarium alongside other species. We were shocked to find as the amount of new species would seem to disappear, more of the more common species would proportionally be present. We found that... No, not the fact that it can shapeshift. I mean, you can't possibly mean to tell me that thing that's out there picking off the crew is some aquatic slug. I've seen it on video, partially at least, and I can tell you it was no slug. This thing had legs. That's what I was getting to. We found that not only could it mimic other species at a cellular level, but in ingesting other organisms, it seemed to rapidly evolve. In many cases, acquiring attributes derivative of its prey. So you're saying this little sea slug can mimic its way up the food chain and become just like whatever it eats? I'm saying it doesn't end there. Just because it consumes an organism doesn't mean it's restricted to just taking the same form and aping its skill set. The creatures have demonstrated the capability to reassign organic matter into completely different new tissue. If left to its own devices, we found that they could produce rudimentary venom sacs, crude wings have formed, acidic saliva glands, and even initial cranial telemetric systems. We've witnessed these things move things without touching them. Oh, fuck me. Now you're telling me these things are telepathic? No, I'm saying they could be if the conditions were met and the evolutionary demand was concentrated enough. Essentially, they're the perfect adaptive organic machines. Oh my god. Not god, Dean. Science. Yeah? Well, one of your little science experiments is running amok and taking people's lives. Relax. There are procedures in place for this kind of situation. The Institute can fly a containment squad out here by daybreak. The storm complicates things, but I'm sure they can manage for a high-level emergency like this. Are you hearing me right now? At least one of these things is out there right now, killing people and posing in their skins as replacements. Right now, we have no way of telling who's really human. Yes, we do. I can run a test that will prove definitively among us who is genuinely human, but I'm going to need samples of everyone's blood. Here, take these empty needles. Collect you want me to take it myself? The crew members and bring them back to me. But hurry. If we wait too long, all the cells will have already assimilated and we will have missed our chance. If we examine everyone's blood quickly, we can spot the predatory cells still in the act of fusing with the host's native blood cells. That's how we'll find out who's really one of us. Sounds risky. We'd have to get pretty close to someone to extract their blood. But if this will prove definitively the identity of the creature, then it's worth the risk. Just don't get too close. The creature's awareness is greater as it jumps from host to host. It'll learn your behaviors and adapt to it. That's what it does. Be careful. So is it already somebody else? What has everyone else been doing? Oh, hi. Damn it, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to. What are you doing out here in a storm like this? Everyone in the rec room is scared to be around each other, so they all scattered to different buildings. I came out here to try and talk some sense into it. Ugh, you shouldn't be doing that, Trev. It's really not a smart idea to be out on your own right now. You out here by yourself, too. At least I think you are. You ain't got any creepy crawlers shawshanking their way through your guts telling you to kill me right now. Right? My guess is that if I did, I wouldn't be so inclined to tell you about it, would I? Nah, I'd guess you wouldn't, so I suppose there ain't much point in asking. Been a while since you ran off to check on Isabel. Anything you want to cop to? Actually, there is something. There's a helicopter being dispatched to come pick us up. Real pros. G-men, I guess. You know the type. Top-level operatives who know how to clean up a mess like this. Finally, some good news. So now what? We just hang tight till they get here? Not quite. 
We can't risk taking someone back with us who might be infected with the creature. Isabel's got a blood test she's putting together, but I need to get a sample from everyone on deck so we can make sure we're all clean. And this test is guaranteed? No chance of a false positive, is there? You'd have to ask Isabel about that. All I know is that if I don't get the samples under the microscope as quick as possible, the blood from the creature is going to be impossible to distinguish from the blood of any of us. Oh, hell, man. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Hurry up and get the samples before we run out of time and have to go back to the spray and pray technique. That's what I came up here to do. Head inside the lab and wait with Isabel. When I get back with the samples, we'll find out if anyone's not on the up and up. Then we'll just have to make it until the chopper gets here. Okay. Where is everybody now? Not in here. Anybody in here? Hello. Listen, there's a test we can do to find out which one of us is really the shapeshifter, but I need to collect a blood sample from everyone to do it. Blood sample? You mean with a needle, right? That gotta be a problem, Tom. No problems, just... Ah, hell. I guess I don't have a choice on this one. If I don't participate, I guess it doesn't point a good indication my way, does it? It really doesn't. But look, Isabel's calling in some high-level specialists who are flying out here right now. It'll all be over soon. Our only concern right now is making sure we single out the creature before they get here. Right. Uh, is that everything? I think it is. As long as nobody's over here by the boat now. Nope. Okay. Um, easy there. I'm not here to hurt you. It's me, Dean. I... I trust you. Kinda. What do you want? Listen, Isabel knows a way to find out who's really human, but to do it, I need to take a sample of your blood. Just a small one. Then a helicopter will come and take us all away from here. Sound good? A test? If it means I can stop cowering away and get off this rock, then yeah, you can have some of my blood. Look, I hate needles, so just do it quick, alright? Before I get second thoughts. Fuck that pinch! God, I hate needles! But you got what you needed, right? You can tell who's the monster now? Sure. Anybody in my bed? Nope. Okay. Oh. Gonna do some cleaning in here. I mean, there's beer bottles everywhere. Relax, Uma. It's me, Dean. I'm human. Listen, I need something from you. I need to take a sample of your blood so we can run it under the microscope and make sure you're really you. Like a blood test? Like my vision? The ones about the microscope? Yeah, just like that. I only need a little. Will you comply? Or are you going to make me take it from you? I suppose you have every right to want to figure out who's the monster. Okay, make it quick. I suck at needles, but I'm willing to give in to whatever it takes to figure this out. Thanks. We should know the results soon. I think it'd be best if you just stay here until we know for sure, for everyone's safety. So, why am I doing this? I know it was Sean. Um... Unless it's already to jump to somebody else, in which case me doing this now makes no sense it, because it's gonna jump to somebody else again and then I have old samples of everybody's blood right 
I mean, it's been like five minutes it's since a blood test that can tell us Sean went up into the you. ceiling. There's also some kind of contingency squad flying in through the storm that's going to wipe the place. Thank God for all that, then. If they're sending in professionals, why the blood test? A I little suspicious, obvious, Steve. Doctor. Squad or no squad, we're still bumping elbows with a homicidal shapeshifter, and I think we'd all breathe a little easier knowing who it was. Now hold out your arm, please. Fair point. All right, then. Have at it. I hope Isabel's test can finally put the matter to rest. I've never seen everyone so on edge. Not that I really blame them. I guess that's everybody, I think. It's a lot of walking and running. Not there. In this game. Uh, did I take yours? Yeah, I did. What about your blood, Isabel? So this test of yours, can we fully count on it? Is there any chance of an error? Tell me now or consider the blood on your hands. So long as you get the samples under the microscope before every single invasive predatory cell has fully assimilated, you'll notice an obvious difference. And it better be obvious. Don't think you're in the clear just yet, Professor, as far as I'm concerned. We all need to pass the test like our life depends on it. Because it does. I'd expect nothing less. Here, you'll be needing a sample of my blood as well. Alright, that should do it. Put it under the microscope and see for yourself. I'm human. Are you? Oh. Dean Isabel has no blood at all. Oh. He's the first one I took it from. Those are pretty wiggly, Rebecca. I don't know what kind of difference I'm expecting to see. Uh-oh. Ah. Where are they going? You have all I can offer. Only the microscope can exonerate me now. You're looking for transparent cells with wriggling tendrils yeah, no on shit. sides. I figured it out. And you'll find your monster. A sample of your blood, and we can all know for a fact what you and I already know. Hey, Tommy boy. Where was he? I have forgotten already. Uh, he must have been. That way. He's not in the bathroom. Is he hanging out in the storage like a weirdo? Yeah, he is. to do here. That's weird. What's my strategy here? I can't move and shoot. I don't think I can even move and aim at the same time. Oh, I can, I guess. But I 
can't run. Which I really need to do. See ya. You know what would have been a good idea, like, before this happened, or like now, is to have everyone stay in the same place. So, this test of yours, can we fully count on it? Is there any chance of an error? Alright, tell Travis, me that. Consider the blood on your hands. Little, little sample of your this? blood. And I just fucking back. killed you and Thomas. Because he was an alien. Somebody acknowledge what I've done. Oh no, look at those. Excuse me? Good news, he turned back into a human. Um, so... You have all fucking... I you have only all the microscope can exonerate me now. Only the microscope You're can exonerate me You're looking for transparent cells with wriggling You're looking tendrils for transparent on all sides. Cells with wriggling tendrils find that, on all sides. and you'll find your find monster. That, and you'll find your monster. Now what? Hey, boo. Easy there. I'm not here to hurt you. It's me, Dean. microscope can exonerate me now. You're well, looking for transparent cells with wriggling tendrils on all sides. Find that, and you'll died. find your monster. Died and they are hey guys, I fucking found him already. Oh. Hey, Tommy? Can I take his legs? Can I do anything? I cannot. But I can walk through this door. So that's cool. Um... I guess I'll just go check on everybody else. Hello. What's up? Relax, Uma. It's me, Dean. I'm human. Listen. I need something from you. I need to take a sample of your blood so we can run it under the microscope and make sure you're really you. Kinda sounds like, uh, the guy who was Big B Wolf in The Wolf Among Us. He's got that same, uh, like, it's me, Dean. You know, it was a perfect impression. Isabel's got a blood test that can tell us who's the creature and who's a human. There's also some kind of contingency squad flying in through the storm that's going to wipe the place. So, I think I broke it. 
by going and killing Thomas before I looked at his blood and somehow that turned his blood normal again and now nobody will acknowledge the fact that I've already done this you have all I can offer only the microscope can exonerate me now you're looking for transparent cells with wriggling tendrils on all sides. On find that, well, and you'll find your monster. I mean, people died, dude. People died, and they aren't coming back. Any one of us can Um... So... Can you save games in this? I don't know. I don't even know how long this is. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this play through. Um, not that I've played through it. I got through some of it. Um, it's interesting. It's pretty cool. Uh, voice acting is not great always, uh, but it's cool to see so much of it. Um, uh, it looks pretty good, I would say. It's got a, it's got a feel to it. Um... But some things just don't don't really hold together in the gameplay. Um, like the, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Uh, I think because I did it out of order. Um, like there's nothing I can do. And it took me a long time to figure out what I was doing at the beginning. Maybe that's just because I'm a big idiot. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like it. I don't love it, but, uh, it is pretty interesting. Uh, I may come back to this and see if I can finish it someday in less than an hour and a half. Cause that's how long I've been playing now, and I feel like I can't go any further on this one, and I don't really want to start over right now. Um, so there may be a follow-up video to this, we'll see. Uh, until next time, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, you can follow me on Twitch, and you can follow me on Twitter where I do various things like this, and other things not like this, but still kind of like this. Um, and I'll leave some links in the description as always, and until the next time, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.